If you want to work on a written exercise with your student in real time, then a Google Doc is a great way to go. Everything's stored in the cloud, you and your student can edit it simultaneously, and best of all, you can access it from inside your LearnCube virtual classroom. First of all, you'll want to create a Google Doc. You can sign up for a Google account for free if you don't have one already. Here, I've created a blank doc. Uh, I want to use this in my virtual classroom, so I will need to set the sharing permissions. To do that, let's click on Share, uh, change general access to anyone with link, and copy the link by clicking here. Now I can upload it to my LearnCube content library, either in the library admin section or inside my virtual classroom. When I click on the upload button, I can see the little Google Drive icon here, so I'll click that. Um, we'll paste the link I copied earlier and hit OK. Now I can give this doc a name, add some extra info if I want, uh, and hit the upload button. It's now uploaded to my library. Next time I want to use it, I just need to click on the Lesson Materials button and filter by Google Docs, or just type in the name I gave it earlier. My students and I will be able to edit the document together in class, and we won't need to open any other tabs or windows. We can still see and hear each other, and I can also move back and forth between other class materials like so. Google Docs are great for certain exercises, but there are loads of other types of materials you can use with LearnCube too, so I've included links to a few other videos in the description below. That's all from me. Goodbye, and as always, happy teaching.